Giga Texas is 47% complete, and you may be getting your Cybertruck sooner than you think. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Yes, really, it's come that far. And stick around till the end, because I've got a bunch of different graphs and charts broken down by category. Last week, I said the word subscribe near the end, and half of you tuned out. So let's get that out of the way now, since it's the only way YouTube knows what kind of videos to show you. Done. Let's go over the major elements and updates, and since so many viewers missed it, I'll show that graph along the way instead. Site prep. I've left this at a steady 95% since the beginning because it appeared essentially done. And it still appears that way, even though more work is always taking place. Geopeer work in the northwest corner is wrapping up, as indicated by the lack of giant gravel piles used to compact the soil beneath what will soon become the battery plant. Once the footings clear the 95% mark, which should happen in the next few weeks, this figure will begin increasing again as well. Footings. If you've watched my weekly construction side-by-side -side updates, it may feel like the foundation work has been on hold, but the number completed is still increasing at a steady pace. I imagine it feels slow due to the fact that everything else is moving so quickly. You can see the orange line on the weekly chart is still climbing nicely and has more than doubled over the last nine weeks. The frame. Seen in light gray, and this should come as no surprise, it's simply exploding all over this graph. It looked artificially low until a few weeks ago when I noticed an error in the tabulation that subtracted roofed segments from the frame segments, but it doesn't appear to have had any significant impact on the broader trend line. The framework is likely to continue climbing at a rapid pace at least for a few weeks, and if I am lucky enough to be able to make another tracker like this for the next Gigafactory, I'll go back through these weekly updates to reconsider the weighting. Currently, the frame gets 20% weighting, which is making the S-curve sharper than it probably should be, and that's something I will address. The roof. This only gets half weighting, counting for 10%, even the parts that are clearly more than half done, and it's similarly moving awfully fast. It's likely I would reduce the weighting of this aspect as well on a future tracker, but at this point, we're just stampeding toward closing off the exterior walls, which will begin a whole new four-month countdown to interior completion, which brings us to... The interior. We can see a lot of work is already taking place inside, with a lot of material already delivered on site. The concrete floors have been poured in some portion of every one of the various disconnected buildings. Hardware for the installation of HVAC has been spotted in the northernmost building and in the concrete stamping cathedral. And there's also the first gigapress, aka mega casting, which has already been assembled and just this week, Joe Tetmeyer captured footage of 75 assembly robots being offloaded and stored in containers. All of that supports the conclusion that production is not a year out, but may begin as early as the second quarter. So let's take our weekly look at the completion according to the site map, with a big thanks to my Patreons who get bonus material, early access in some cases, and help keep the channel growing. Guys, I can't do it without you, and I appreciate you so, so much. Here's the site as it appears today. Let's wind it back to December 14th and watch it change week by week. The orange is foundations, the gray is frames, and the dark gray is roofed over sections. To really soak this in, you may want to rewind it a few times to see just how quickly it's changed over just nine weeks. 
In the early weeks of this tracker, I got a lot of angry comments that there was no way it could be finished in the time frame I was suggesting, but those voices have grown awfully quiet lately. Since the progress is so visible, it's becoming pretty undeniable. That's especially surprising since my latest predicted completion date was as of the January 4th update when I said it would be done on January 8th of 2021, as opposed to last week's update when I said it would be finished around October 2nd of this year, more than two months earlier. And that was a big shift, but that was nothing. Hang on to your butts, my friends. So here it is. Here we go. At the current rate of progress, Giga Texas will be feature complete in 428 days on or about September 21st of this year. And a lot of the site will be complete before that, with trial production likely beginning well in advance. To manage expectations moving forward, it's important to recognize that we're in the easiest part of the build right now. Even if everything but the exterior walls were up today, the tracker would put the completion at 70% but there would still be four months remaining from the time those walls go up. That was the completion pace in Shanghai for both phases one and two, and it was the assumption I made in my Giga Berlin will be complete in five months video, which appears confirmed based on recent updates to the order page in Germany. While I expect these numbers to flatten a bit over the coming four to six weeks, I'm still confident that the date we have today is awfully strong. But I'd love to know when you think the first model will roll off the line and which model will be the first one produced. Elon said it will be the Model Y, but a lot of people are still leaning towards the Cybertruck. So let me know what you think. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots, maybe even on a road trip this summer, assuming we're able to get the old jibby-jabby in time for that. Oh, and thanks to Joe Tetmeyer for insisting I feature some of his footage. He does great work, and you should definitely check him out. Link in the description.